Yo, what's up guys? Pierre Andre is back. Alright. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Aku ucapkan kepada korang yang menonton channel Andre Brothers. Korang semua memang awesome, guys. Alright guys, untuk kali ni kita kembali lagi dengan kita punya video-video react React kepada video-video yang menakutkan lah, apa lagi uh, Hari dah malam, benda-benda yang syok buat untuk video-video menakutkan lah, baru best kan Nanti malam nak tidur kan, ha, baru kau tahu kan So yes, uh, kita kembali lagi dengan kita punya video-video react daripada channel Andre Brothers Aku, sebenarnya aku ingin mengucapkan jutaan terima kasih kepada korang guys Especially kepada korang yang penonton-penonton setia ni um, Banyak sebenarnya uh, kalau aku nak sebut nama uh, Shah Shah Sang Naka um, Khairul apa Banyak lah kalau aku nak sebut nama Guys, korang semua memang awesome guys Aku appreciate sangat uh, korang punya waktu yang korang luang untuk uh, support Dan tonton uh, channel video di channel Andre Brothers. Korang memang memang terbaik aku. Aku appreciate sangat korang punya masa. Dan yes, sebelum kita mulakan kita punya video react kita, uh, seperti biasa aku sangat mengharapkan agar korang semua dalam keadaan baik, keadaan sihat dan kalau boleh jaga kesihatan korang guys. Kalau keluar uh, kita kena sentiasa alert. Alert dengan sekarang ni macam-macam penyakit ada dekat luar kan. So, yang paling kita takut sekarang adalah penyakit tak lain tak bukan COVID. So, kita kena jaga diri kita sendiri Okay guys So yes uh, Aku rasa aku tak nak melenyahkan masa uh, Adalah lebih baik Kalau kita terus straight forward Kepada kita punya video uh, Seram kita kali ni Dan Are you ready? Adakah anda telah betul-betul bersedia? Kalau dah bersedia Jom kita start kita punya video react Kita untuk malam ni Alright guys Bismillahirrahmanirrahim seem a bit comical, but the content of the channel is anything but. You see, the channel owner Mark is a paranormal investigator. He claims that an evil spirit, possibly even a demonic force, followed him home after one of his investigations. He says that the spirit now haunts his home and terrorizes him on a daily basis. Come on. Don't get that good doing, guys. He has set up a motion-activated camera in his basement to record as this is where most of the strange activity takes place. In this video, Mark claims that he was upstairs in his house when he was attacked by the shadow figure. He says that he felt a hard slap across his face and darted into his bedroom to hide with his very freaked out dog, Terry. Mark began recording with his phone. Are you okay? Bergerak guys tu Dia punya lampu
Kenapa aku rasa agak scary yang video ni? macam ketuk je tu Hmm, ini scary guys With all of the green 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 activity green green going on, Mark decides to retreat back upstairs But meanwhile, his basement camera records something truly bizarre That occurs at the same time Oh. Apa benda tu? Now the strange noises could possibly be explained as well anything. Bini But aku keluar. Time benda tu keluar. Let me know what you think. Kita watch Mark's continuing guys. story along with frequent updates over on his channel, Donny Drunkard. In the shadow. Aku tak suka video tadi yang terbang tu. Dan dan benda tu keluar, bini aku pun keluar. Oh, nasib baik aku tak kena jantung, guys. Okay, tak apa. Kita uh, kupas isu video tadi tu. Mamat tu memang nampak takut. Dia dah turun separuh tangga. Disebabkan ketakutan yang dia alami tu, dia naik balik, guys. So, Mamat ni tak boleh pakai. Yang kita boleh pakai, dia punya cameras. Uh, uh, dia set up satu camera dekat basement. So, benda tu dapat capture ada satu benda tengah terbang melayang. So, aku tak tahu apa benda tu. Tapi, kalau ikut fir firasat lah. Aku rasa, aku jangka benda tu kemungkinan besar adalah JIN lah. Uh, tapi, um, Mamat ni pun, dia dia pun dekat, dia, dia ada uh, channel YouTube kan. Yang semacam ghost hunter macam tu. So, mungkin benda ni ikut balik. So, mungkin. Aku tak tahu. So, apa pun dapat korang, korang komen kat bawah aku nak tahu. So, kita go next video, okay? Over on the YouTube channel, The Abandoned Prepper, an urban explorer named Adam checks out creepy abandoned houses and locations in Wales. Now, it should be noted that Adam is not a ghost hunter. But when he explores a place called the Summer House, which has a dark history, hmm. things get a bit weird. So, the owner of this house bought it for his son as the sun was moving in. He actually crashed his car and died, mm. and then uh, didn't end up moving in. So yeah, the guy said it was cursed and didn't want to move in. Yeah, I'll just have a quick look at these stairs. From the rotten floors to the decomposing walls, it's obvious that the large house has been abandoned and neglected for many years. As Adam makes his way around the premises, he begins to get the sense that he might not be alone. Oh, that's weird. I can hear something. I'm guessing it's just the wind. But things get stranger. Without even noticing, Adam catches this on camera. Right. Here we go. Did you see it? No. Watch again. Ada bayang-bayang hitam guys. While exploring the pool area, he catches some movement out of the corner of his eye. And then the the pool. What was that? Hmm, dia dah nampak ke? Ooh, dia dah nampak lah guys. Oh, sumpah ni scary guys. The pool. What was that?
Adam decides to make his way out. Mm, of course. Right, guys. Oh, my head's gone. I, I thought I seen something in the window. So I, I look back on my footage. And then, I don't know. I seen a shadow go past the window. So I've just f***ing lagged it. I, I wasn't going to stick around, guys. I'm not, I'm not a ghost hunter, you know what I mean? So, was this just another explorer? Or perhaps a homeless person lurking in the shadows? Or did Adam catch something paranormal on camera? You decide. You can check out Adam's channel, The Abandoned Prepper, for more of his creepy urban explorations. Deconstruction. Okay, guys. Sorry, aku punya perfume tadi tiba-tiba mengejutkan aku pula. Malam ni banyak sangat terkejut lah, guys. Okay, Adam tadi dia... Dia ni... Dia ni urban explorer Dia bukan ghost hunter So urban explorer ni Dia dengan ghost hunter ni Dua 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 benda yang, yang lain aku rasa Kalau ikut aku punya Pemahaman lah Kalau ghost hunter ni Dia lebih kepada macam Solo ambush So mungkin korang tahu kan Siapa solo ambush Kalau urban explorer ni Dia lebih kepada macam Faizal Rozi ke So, untuk Adam ni, dia pergi ke satu rumah yang dikatakan rumah ni berpuaka Dan owner rumah tu pun dah tak nak duduk situ dan dikatakan macam-macam benda yang pernah berlaku kat situ So, agak menakutkan pasal memang kita nampak dengan jelas ada imej lembaga hitam Memang dapat dua kali capture kat situ Dan kalau imej lembaga hitam ni, tak, tak bagus guys Kita tahu ini adalah semacam JIN Tapi kita tak tahu dia sejenis apa Mungkin kalau di Indonesia Mungkin Dia orang panggil apa Gondoro Something macam tu lah Tapi Tersebut pula Macam malam ni Okay um, Aku rasa video tadi real Aku tak tahu apa pendapat korang Kalau korang rasa real Korang setuju dengan pendapat aku Kita Kita gang Tapi kalau korang rasa video tu fake Korang komen kat bawah Aku nak tahu kenapa korang rasa video tu fake So kita go next video This next clip is from a Chinese ghost hunter named Xiao Long who broadcasts oh. his investigations Xiao live Long, on a Chinese streaming service. Xiao Long and his friend are exploring an abandoned building that is said to be haunted by the ghost of a construction worker who lost his life while working on the building. Mm. As they begin their investigation, creepy things start to happen immediately. Don't have one. One of the explorers swears that he saw a worker dressed in construction clothes walk through the lobby downstairs. But his friend doesn't seem to believe him. He shrugs it off and they continue their investigation. Oh, member so ni dah cuak dah guys. Yang seorang tak nampak, yang seorang asyik nampak ni. Member dah angin lah. Tapi dia nampak memang betul-betul takut guys. Ya, 
again, the same explorer claims to have seen someone, but again, his friend thinks he's just being hysterical. Now, before we go any further, I should point out that unlike the Saudi Arabian ghost hunters who pray to ward off evil spirits, the Chinese believe that cursing and acting angry will scare away evil ghosts and demons. And you'll see what I mean. Ada muka tadi guys Sejuk tempat ni guys Nampak dia ni And yet again, one of the explorers sees what looks like a man in a red hard hat peering from behind the door. This time, he even manages to capture it on camera. But yet again, his friend doesn't believe him. That is, until everything suddenly takes a terrifying turn. As they make their escape, the building seems to be crashing down all around them. One of them falls right through an open hole in the floor. Luckily, they eventually manage to make it outside the building to safety. So, what do you think? Did they catch extreme footage of an angry construction worker ghost on their live stream? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Since Xiaolong's videos are not on YouTube and would be almost impossible to find for non-Chinese speakers, I've included links down in the video description. I also want to say a huge thank you to Chinese artist Hono, who suggested, translated, and even helped research this video. Face the me. Guys, video yang kita tengok tadi Shai Long tu, dia ni memang bukan jenis video yang dia uh, record dulu tau. Dia memang live streaming guys. So, 
agak susah kalau dia orang nak buat itu uh, susah lah kalau dia nak fake apa yang dia dapat itu adalah memang time tu tengah live yang menakutkan tu kita dapat tengok image ada macam seorang le- lelaki pekerja uh, kontraktor kat situ kan uh, dengan topi warna merah tu dia masa pergi dekat bilik tu memang kosong memang tak ada orang so agak susah untuk kalau dia orang nak buat prank atau nak buat satu video yang fake Uh, dan kita tahu memang video-video Shailong ni dia Sebelum ni pun kita pernah react dia punya video um, Memang scary guys Dia orang ni memang uh, Kira ghost hunter yang aku rasa terkenal kat China kot Dan Senang no dia dapat uh, Image-image hantu eh. Kita apa kita go to next video Untuk uh, video tadi aku rasa kemungkinan besar ya. So kau bagi pendapat korang Music. On the channel Mind C TV, paranormal investigator Casey Nolan and his crew investigate allegedly haunted houses and locations. In this video, they're investigating a house in Tennessee that the owner claims is home to a dark presence. My grandfather Jack died here a couple months ago. He left the house to me as well. But when I'm here, staying the night, I notice a presence that I do not recognize. It's becoming kind of difficult for me to deal with. There's just so much. The house's owner says that he's seen and heard things around the house that are downright chilling, like unexplained strange sounds and doors and cabinets opening on their own. The guys catch some odd noises on their spirit box and a strange reflection in a window. But by far, the creepiest activity seems to be centered around an old piano in the house's hallway. Macam ada bunyi Did you hear the piano for yeah. just a second? Piano key yang tu It's moving I got two fingers on I'm barely touching I think it's going to no That's what it's looking like Yeah Yeah it looks like it's going past I'm a letter Oh fuck Do you no longer want to communicate with us? They head to the piano to investigate the strange single notes that they keep hearing. And then things get truly bizarre. Is that you playing the piano? I don't see any more of the keys pushed down. If that was you, can you do it again? As one of the investigators strikes a note on the piano keyboard, the doors in the house and even the very building itself seems to shake on its foundation. The Mind CTV guys have had enough and decide to just get out of there. But the creepy noises inside the house continue behind them as they leave. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lighting aku out, yeah. Right, guys. Sorry, masalah lampu. Sekarang dah betul kan kita sambung balik. Tapi tadi scary, guys. Dia tekan uh, note piano tu bergegar satu rumah. say that the presence in the house seemed just a bit too dangerous to continue their investigation. Say what you want about us being cowards or whatever, but when you're dealing with a presence like that that is trying to take action against you, it's not a game. We're not there to get hurt. You can watch this full investigation, as well as the team's other weekly paranormal investigations, over on their channel, Mindseat TV. False sense of security. Uh... 
mindset TV tu memang quite famous juga uh, tapi yang yang menakutkan tentang video tadi tu uh, itu dikatakan rumah tu adalah rumah pusaka yang telah dipas baik kepada pemilik baru lah so yang owner lama tu dah meninggal so bagi kat dia dia mengalami perkara-perkara mistik yang berada dalam rumah tu kalau orang kita um, mungkin lah kita boleh cakap saka apa benda kan tapi kalau Mak Saleh ni aku tak tahu apa benda yang duduk sekali dalam rumah tu so yang diorang takutkan adalah benda yang demon yang melibatkan IBLRS kan so itu yang ICTV tu pun dia pun dia pun tak nak tak nak continue pasal dia rasa benda tu sangat membahaya yang boleh mengancam dia orang punya keselamatan dan kalau kalau kau tengok tadi dia punya video tadi bila dia tekan um, note piano tu ting 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 bergegar satu masuk kita tahu kat situ energy dia memang kuat so untuk tadi tu memang menakutkan guys agak agak menakutkan bagi aku lah so kita apa kita sambung next video kita okey In a recent viral video, a night security guard at a supermarket in Sao Paulo, Brazil, says that he saw some odd activity on the surveillance cameras in the parking garage. He went down to investigate, and it did not go well. Hmm. Hmm. Trolley. Mama. Malam. Parei com a moto aqui agora. Tô ficando doido. Olha, o outro lá mexeu. Esse carro aqui. Quem é que tá aí? Você mexeu o carro, mexe agora. Mexe esse carrinho que tá aí. capture paranormal activity in the supermarket parking garage or is this all just a hoax with fishing line and remote starters you decide thanks for watching suggest videos for the top five at nukestop5 at gmail.com and tweet me on the tweeter at nukestop5 all right guys itu dia kita punya top five new top five untuk video-video menakutkan untuk yang last tadi tu Uh, memang aku tak nafikan kalau kerja security malam-malam ni Mall ke apa ke dan melibatkan tempat parking area yang macam tu hmm, Dengan ada troli yang macam tu lagi Kadang-kadang memang boleh uh, dapat sesuatu yang menakutkan uh, Penampakan yang menyeramkan uh, Untuk tadi tu boleh jadi real Tapi boleh jadi juga dia cuba nak fakekan video tu uh, Mungkin, mungkin lah, mungkin kalau dia nak fakekan video tu boleh je uh, troli tu diikat dengan tali apa tali pancing dan motor tu memang dia ada motor yang kan sekarang ni macam-macam boleh buat kan uh, motor yang boleh ada uh, remote remote starter kan so boleh jadi uh, fake uh, yang itu aku tak boleh nak bagi komen tapi um, kalau nak ikut keseraman aku rasa agak seram juga tapi dalam banyak-banyak video uh, aku rasa banyak juga yang yang menakutkan um, Selain yang rumah ada piano tu Yep, aku rasa uh, Boleh dikategorikan uh, Not bad juga untuk video kali ni So, apa pendapat korang? Adakah korang enjoy dengan video kali ni? Adakah korang terasa uh, Seram? Oh, tapi yes 
video yang tadi tu yang ada objek terbang warna hitam tu itu scary guys aku memang terkejut gila tu dan um, hopefully image tu tak melekat dalam kepala aku lah pasal apa nanti kan nak tidur kan susah nak tidur kan jam mata kat terfikir-fikir image-image yang macam tu kan so benda macam tu memang tak shock lah memang tak best so ok guys Um, pada korang yang dah tonton daripada awal sampai habis Thank you again Aku appreciate, aku sangat merhagai korang punya waktu Dan uh, korang punya support uh, Tanpa support korang Aku mungkin tak bersemangat untuk buat video-video ni untuk korang So because of korang uh, betul-betul support Korang tonton dan korang share Buat aku jadi lagi semangat Nak buat video-video yang lebih best uh, Untuk korang Dan Siapa yang belum subscribe, subscribe dulu guys. Bukannya kena bayar, bukannya kena beli percuma je. Kau tekan je butang notification tu. Dan butang tu bukan jauh, bukan dekat Johor, bukan dekat Sabah Sarawak. Depan mata kau. Ha, melainkan yang duduk kat Sabah Sarawak tu memanglah dia kat sana. So, okay guys. Thank you again. Aku sangat-sangat uh, menghargai korang punya masa dan tontonan. Kita jumpa sehingga kita punya next video. Uh, InsyaAllah kalau kita dapat video yang lebih menakutkan, lebih best kan. So, yep, nak tidur baca doa, ok. Uh, aku rasa sampai kat sini saja. Aku ucapkan Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera kepada korang yang menonton channel Andre Brothers. Korang semua memang awesome guys. Bye.